um, originally this first little portion of the house, um, if you look at it from the outside, it it was a little cottage that was on the other kitty corner and when it was um, slated to be burned down by the fire department as a test fire, the man who grew up in it, he he uh, moved the house, bought it, and he put on a truck, it moved it over here. Oh my and goodness. In here. This is like in the 70s, I think, or the 80s, uh, somewhere in there. So it's got a cinder block foundation with a little, little cottage, and it became many things. It was a bakery, and then it was a, you know, a trinket shop, an ice cream place. Uh, it became many things. So, uh, <laughs> so when we when we were visiting Cannon Beach, um, um, it was it was a bakery, um, and it didn't go back very far. It had, I don't know, we we. We made our coffee up here, and we served it out the door here. And this area was a, a staircase wall here. Wow! It was very tiny, and so with our renovation last year, we wanted to add 19 feet to the back of the bakery. Wow! So um, what ended up happening is they cut the building off right here, and they scraped it from the ground to the back. Wow! We built an entirely new building in the back of. Um, same width footprint, so it's kind of narrow, but it's long. We have a higher ceiling to accommodate all our HVAC, mm, and then we yeah. have an apartment floor. Wow. Then a little high square feet, one bedroom. Cool. It's a full time living space um, for it. Cool. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so we have um, we add in a bathroom to the staff as well as an upgraded bathroom to the customers. Um, our service bar moved from one side of the building to the other side. Um, major features are that there's exit points for staff off the both ends of it. It also means there's entry points for any curious person or child, <laughs> as we know. But that's okay, because we kind of function like a family and hear anything. So, and I want curious people and curious children in my bakery all the time. Nice. So, um... So come on in the back, and you can see um, for the bar area, we wanted to really maximize the wind space so that two to three people can work through here and um, comfortably. So getting 42 inches of working space is really important, and this is important for food industry people. If you've ever worked in a kitchen, you understand walking behind someone and how tight it can be. So this was a, a real big feat to get all of our equipment and all the plumbing and all the electrical um, dialed in for our service this space. Cool. We serve, well, we make from scratch sourdough bread, um, pastries from scratch, and laminated pastries like croissants, a pain au chocolat. And um, also we are serving some danishes and other fun little things that come out of the laminated category. Um, it's highly technical work and it takes a long time to learn it and get good at it. And in our environment, we've always had trouble with heat, which is the enemy of laminated pastries. Oh. Um, we also make amazing scones and biscuits, as you will know, my mother's recipe of banana bread. Oh, that's so fun. And, um, and then on, on the line, we also serve sandwiches on our fresh bread and... Um, some bowls like acai bowls serve for food, and um, <laughs> and yogurt bowls. So, cool. So in the back of the house is our bakery. Um, I have like kind of a prep area for um, slicing meat and cheeses and veggies and produce, ice machine, and that kind of like makes its way into a the line where we prepare all those those. Sandwiches and coffee, and then um, and beyond that, I have benches for my bakers. Um, I've got a bread bread bench and um, the pastry bench, and and we can fit four to six people working back here, uh, and our glorious dish pit uh, that we very much love the new machine in because last time I couldn't fit a sheet can in the sanitizer but I can now so 
One yeah. of the cool things that you were telling me earlier that goes to what you were talking about of like shooting for perfection and what you're doing is the fact that your new sanitizer actually washes the different dishes differently. So there's no chemical residue, yeah. which even can affect the taste of the coffee from the cups and the utensils that you're using to make it. So you're constantly looking for what is that extra next level what's the next level yeah that really helps us accomplish our goal of excellence yeah exactly very cool um i was recommended to put all of my hot stuff on one wall so um we moved our our four deck bread oven to steam and dough bread oven wow. um, this is a small oven um normally these are giants and often they'll have a giant like conveyor belt loader on them that can be raised and lowered to shuffle for each deck uh. so um so we usually run this at about 500 degrees for our bread somewhere in there and then next door are my convection ovens that we use for all the pastries um i've got double convections and we got a proofer on the side which is just for the morning bake when you need to um, raise pastries up. Um, we got enough speed racks for our kitchen. I don't think we can use more. Like it, they, they're great, they are on wheels. Um, we can shuttle all our sheet pans in these guys and we get them full and they'll be full of bread and full of pastries and all that gets shuffled out to the front. <laughs> so, ton of fun. And I always say that you should eat more butter <laughs> yes. We stash our butter. Um, nice. We some regular tuck butter because we do so much quick grabs of butter. And anybody knows it's hard to make cookies when the butter's not soft enough. Oh, yes. So, um, one of the biggest additions to the bakery was needing, and needing the 19 extra feet was to put a walk in in, in our building. And this is an amazing walk in. I've got two door access. Um, one size more dedicated to like bread and the food service area. And my left door is more dedicated to pastry. So we can get in and out of it fast, easy. You can even make a circle in there. And this is pretty awesome. I have to say, so grateful <laughs> for this new, new heast. Um, over here in this corner is where I have my mixer. So we've got a full bar is classic. This one has an 80 quart bowl on it, and um, wow. and I have 40 quarts, and I have a 20 quart machine behind you, also. And next to that is our sheeter. This is a reversible sheeter, and this is where we do our laminating. So it's kind of a little bit cooler out here. It's farther away from the heat, and I also have um, ventilation to help. Um, cool the building down. We do most of our laminating towards the afternoon when we can open the doors and um, cool the place down. Yeah, I've seen some of your uh, sped up videos working yeah. back here. I should post. Who do you find? So here's a small version of our cobard. This is a 20 quart, super super needed. And I have just multiple bowls for all of for both my sheet my machines. And we have a small, like, countertop-sized um, commercial kitchen aid, too. So. Cool. Free or freezer. This guy is kind of like the, uh, well, this is, this is the brain of the system. Um, I, we, like, write everything on our list over here. We've got quadrants for to keeping track of our inventory and our to-dos for one day and the bake-off for the next morning. Um, we kind of like scrawl notes up here, recipes sometimes get hung up here. And it's kind of like the brain where pastry brain happens. The bread brain is over there. So you really have two different like operations happening in your bread and pastry. So um, there's so much to learn in this space. Like if you ever got tired of pastry work, you could get a word bread which I really require two years to learn from the ground up at 40 hours. Wow. It's, um, it's a long, slow learning curve. With, I'll just put it this way. I've seen full grown men cry. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Um, and not because they cut themselves with a the lawn. That happens too. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And this is not just it. This is where we clean everything. Um, I got a three mason sink, sanitizer, cleaned clean side, um, and we have staff bathroom, hand wash sinks. Um, yeah. Very cool. I, I hang things from the ceiling. It's um, really needed. Like in a space like this, it's great. It can like have everything ready to go. And and my dream in the kitchen is it's literally this like i don't even want to bake at home anymore you walk in here and this place is built to bake all your spices are right there everything you need is right there you got a mixer it's ready to go and ovens so it's it's pretty amazing <laughs> we're serving car roasters and very very um i we've been serving hard since 2017 i believe and um it is definitely one of those special drinks that we just can't get enough of. And we just keep enjoying all the different um, drug sourcing and the relationships that are built through being a partner with Heart. Uh, if you haven't had Heart coffee, I definitely, definitely recommend getting your hands on some and tasting it. It's pretty amazing. Cool. And if you don't like your coffee and the way it tastes, um, go get some new equipment and get some training because often it's, uh, it could be equipment related, it could be um, knowledge related, it could be your water, it could be um, technique. And people like us, we want to help you make really amazing coffee at home too.